In this video, we'll look at how to create Gantt charts. Gantt charts are commonly used for tracking project schedules. This gives a visual view of tasks scheduled over time. You will be able to take one look at the chart and say what work is scheduled to happen on a specific day. Now, to create Gantt charts, you can open up with a template, search for online templates, type in Gantt. Then you have a default template, hit create. And before a template opens up, you have to answer a few more questions to Vizio. First, the number of tasks. I'm planning to chart out a simple hiring process, so I'm gonna keep the number of tasks to five. And there are also options to choose time units, which can be months and days, or years and months, quarters and months. I'm gonna keep it to weeks and days. Format will be days, hours per day, I'm gonna keep it with eight and I'm going to choose the days, which shall be 8-3 to, let's see, 14, two weeks. Before we click OK, there's another tab, Format. Now. Usually a start shape for a task in Gantt chart is a circle. And the final shape is a star. Milestones are always diamond and inside labels, we'll, we'll talk about that when we create the Gantt chart. Click OK. Zoom in. All right. Now, you can start by giving names to your tasks. As I said, I'm gonna chart out a simple hiring project. So I'm gonna keep my first task named screening. I'm gonna assume that uh, sourcing has already been done, you've already put out a notice, and you've received the applications, right? Now you have to screen the applications. Let's say this takes three days, right? You can either choose uh, the, the finished date, or you can also enter the number of days here. I prefer to enter the number of days instead of choosing the date because there's more to it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so now you can see that all the activities, all the tasks here start at 8.3 and then they finish with 8.5, 8.3, here because we gave the duration as three and these all say one day by default and they're still at 8.3. Now we've done the first task, we're at 8.5 now, but still the next task and the other task say 8.3. This is because we have not grouped our task yet. If we don't group the task, Visio thinks that these are parallel activities rather than sequential. So I'm gonna select Right click, link task. Now, Vizio understands that these are sequential activities which happen one after another. Now you can see that this just catches up, eight, six, eight, six, seven, seven, eight and nine are not here because they are not working days. To configure this, you could go to Gantt chart, configure work time and choose which days you work and which days you don't work. By default, this is Saturday and Sunday are off. That is the reason you see that 8.8 8 and 8.9 are not in this start and finish dates. Even if you choose, um, say, on 8.7, 8.7 7 is a Friday. Even if you choose 8.7 7 as a start day and you give two days for completion, instead of 8.7 7 to 8.8, 8, you will see that the task will end on 8.10. Let's see. You see, this is also the, also the reason why I don't want to manually enter here. See, you, you could enter here, but I don't want to enter manually here and then choose the number of days instead so that I, I can get that dates going on correctly. 
So next task after screening is telephonic interview. Let's say this takes two days. I want to say two. You can see, wow, you can see that it has moved here. Task three is face to face. I would say based on schedules, that would take another two days. Offer release should not take more than a day. Signing will give three days for the candidates to get back. Now let's see what we got. It all makes sense now because the time time units you chose here major units weeks and minor units days week starting August 2nd week starting August 9th days the minor units the number of days that will be seen here now what if you wanted to complete this project before the 17th you want to work Saturday you can just on Saturday and instead of 17 you will complete it within 14th now I have to show you one more option here this looks this looks good still with the inside label, you have the option to choose the percentage completion, start, finish, duration. I'm going to choose duration here and click OK. Now this will say three days, two days, two days, one day, and three days. It's nice and all to have the duration in the side, but this one is more visually appealing. So I'm going to go with this one. So let's go to presentation mode and you can zoom in so gentlemen this is how you can create a Gantt chart 